Hi, I'm Kevin Buxton, Director of Business Development for FLIR Detection, responsible for our radiation product. Happy to be here with you today to introduce the new R200, a complementary product to our existing range of R-series detectors and identification products. The R200 adds a new dimension to the range of instruments, bringing detection capability down to a pager-sized device. Being pager-sized, it brings for the first time the ability to identify in a frontline device. Traditional pages that are out on the front line of first response, HAZMAT, and other security applications merely detect the presence of radiation. The R200 adds the ability to identify the nuclide present. The addition of identification capability to a frontline pager sized device essentially allows for frontline assessment of a situation while the necessary resources are mobilized to deal with that situation. This gives a critical time advantage to response teams in terms of developing advanced information capability. While performing precisely as a pager, the R200 adds the ability not just to detect, but to find, locate the source, and then identify the source with full capability. The R200, despite being pager size, employs the same common user interface that we use across the range. Critically, no matter what instrument the user has in his hand, it is immediately comfortable and immediately obvious as to how to use the device, allowing the operator to concentrate on the situation at hand and not the operation of the device itself. Operating as a pager, we can see here clear indication of the current dose rate. I have in my hand here uh, a test source that I can use to illustrate the presence of an elevated level of radiation. And as you can see here, the instrument has both increased the reading and is also providing me a visual red flashing light here, an audible indication, and a tactile indication in the sense that the unit is vibrating. Of course, I know where, this, where the source is, but in the real world, I may now have to go and actually locate the source so that I can determine the next steps. A single button push puts me into finder mode and allows the instrument to develop a standard level of background, and then I can use the device and I will simulate bringing the source closer to the device here, and as you can see from the screen, the unit responds with an increasing signal. In this way, I can actually use the unit to scan for and locate the source. Having located the position of the source, the instrument with a single button push can be put into identification mode. I'll place the source here on the end so that we can gather information from the source. The unit is now collecting data and analyzing that data from an energy perspective to determine the nature of the nuclide that is present. With the information gathered, we can see here the instrument has identified the presence of a cesium-137 source. In this particular scenario, this is not indicative of a threat. This ability is the unique next level step brought to the capability of frontline instruments by the Identifinder R200.